Purity. Purity, are you okay? Are you okay? Why would you ask her to come pick me up from school? Or are you are you are you now tired of picking me up? Um, I'm sorry about that. I know I was supposed to pick you up myself, but I was busy, and she offered to help. There's nothing there. Okay, let this be the last. She'll come pick me up from school. I don't walk. I hope I didn't cause any problems. Oh, no, no, it's nothing. It's nothing I can't handle. Okay. okay. I'm in my room. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Purity, how are you? Mm -hmm. Pretty, I'm sorry about. I'm sorry about what happened earlier. I'm sorry about. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it honestly. You mean the way you spoke to me? It's okay. I have already forgiven you even before you ask. It's just that I dislike her. I don't know why my dad has to keep someone like her. After everything that has happened. Purity. I think you should, you know, allow your dad give love a chance. Yes, I know no one can fill the space of your mom in your life. But you know, for the sake of... Having a companion, someone to talk to. If your dad says um, Christine is the best one for him, then allow him. And moreover, she has been really nice and humble so far. So how about you support him? Okay? I don't know. Something tells me that she doesn't love my dad. But I just want the best for my dad. I don't want him to get hurt. That is why I'm protecting him. But if he feels he'll be happy with her, then I don't have a choice not to be happy for him. Mm hmm. You see, now you're talking. And I'm sure your dad is going to be happy with your choice. Hmm? So, Christine, it is. Okay. Good girl. Good girl. Your cup. Baby, you know I love you and I would do anything for you. I know. And I love you right back. I would like to discuss something with you. Okay. Each year around this time, I usually take my daughter to go see her mother's relatives, you know, to keep up the bond. And um, I will be leaving first thing tomorrow morning. Taking her there to go see her people. 
And also, Stella uses the opportunity to take a break and go home. Why are you telling me all this? Because tomorrow is your special day and I won't be here to celebrate it with you. Alex, enough! Okay? Ever since I came into this house, it's been purity this, purity that. I have tried all my possible best to bond with her. And now tomorrow is my birthday and you were taking her to, to God knows where. It's tradition and it has to be tomorrow. No, I won't take it. You have to choose spending my day with me or spending your day with her. You have to calm down. No, I won't calm down. Okay? I need to answer this minute. My daughter... My... my, my please. Please, come back now. Please. I am doing what I would have done long time ago. It is so obvious you care about your daughter so much, and I don't have the patience to condone that. Okay, so it's better I leave. I'm sorry. Let me pick it up for you. That won't be necessary. Listen to me at least, and I'm sorry you should have been. Please. Just give me a chance to pick it up to you, okay? Christine, sorry, I said I'm sorry. Um, you have to credit my account this minute. <laughs> Thank you. Money, 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 money. Christine, you know I'm surprised. I can't still forget her innocent face. That face. That's a that's a face of a face and she floating. Look, I don't even know how I feel for that lady. No, don't say that. Come on, isn't she beautiful? Any other man can fall for her, so don't blame yourself. Look, let's just drop the topic, okay? What I want to focus on now is how to make my daughter happy. Look, I just want to let the women be. Let me just go. Forget about women? Nah, I don't say that. Maybe you can forget about women. But my, my relationship is going on fine. So, don't say that. I'm cool. Yeah. Do you have a space in that relationship? Let me just, you know, come in and just make myself happy. Ma, don't say that. I'll break your head. <laughs> See, don't joke with me and Susan. Don't go there. <laughs> hmm? You did fear. <laughs> fear what, Alex? Hey, I'm cool. I'm cool. Well, what are you saying? I'm cool. <laughs> hmm. Oh, man. This man. Is Why is it so hard to find love? The kind of love that I'm dreaming of. Someone to love me so tender Set my heart on sweet fire Why is it so hard to find love? The ones I find always make me cry They break my heart and then say goodbye Hi, Dad. 
I miss your mom so much. I miss her too, Dad. You know, <clears throat> I've tried to replace her, but I just can't. I mean, nobody comes close. I know you've been lonely for a very long time, but I love you, Dad, and I want the best for you. That is why I've been kicking out all the women you've been bringing. But from now on, I promise to support you. Hey. Thank you. You know, that, that's, that's hot woman. <laughs> but look, I'm done hunting for women. Yeah, I'm done about our lives. Mm. Hmm. Should I get you one? <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait, so you think hey. I can't? <laughs> so, so you think I can't do that? So if I've been sensing the bad women you've been bringing, don't you think I can sense a good one too? <laughs> Where? Uh -huh. Are you serious? Of course. Okay, okay. Okay, I'll leave it to you then. Mm -hmm. I need too much makeup. Now you're done. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love you so much, my darling. Yes, Dad. What? <laughs> so, should we watch Netflix? Uh, this time. You're always watching something. But you're always on your phone all the time. <sighs> Don't you have your books to read? Your I always to read. read every time. I always read. Don't you see me reading? Mr. Alex. Uh, Hi. You're still awake. Yes, I am. Uh, um, do you mind joining me? Oh, no. No. Oh, come on. Okay. One glass will harm you. Uh, Five minutes. Come on. Come, 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 sit. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Okay, um, one minute. Okay? Sure. Okay. You know, um, when I first met my wife, I never knew I was going to get married to her. I scratched her car and I was coming out to apologize. And the next thing, she came out apologizing. I began to wonder what kind of woman is this in this generation. One thing led to another and we started dating. From one date to another, we got married and we produced this beautiful damsel. 
And I lost her. Um, I know. You told me about it when you first employed me here. I'm so sorry for your loss. Right. I did. You know, um, I want to apologize. For the way I spoke to you the other time. I shouldn't have raised my voice at you. It's okay, it's nothing. I... I bear no grudges. Thank you. <laughs> and secondly, I want to say thank you for taking care of my daughter and I. We really do appreciate. You know, she looks up to you. <laughs> oh, Mr. Alex, I am only doing my job. And you're doing it well. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Mm. Philip? Philip? Yeah. I have barely even taken a sip. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm fine. Oh, okay. Mm. I'm just gonna have this. So, yeah, uh, tell me. Mm. I was looking up, but you were down. I thought you were far, but you were around. See you one day I was searching and searching Thinking and thinking Suddenly all my hopes were sinking Like a boat out of the blues I found you Come here and love me for goodness sake I've been searching All around the world Searching For that special girl No more searching Searching here and there No more searching I found the love that is so true And my search is so I've been searching All around Daddy Hey, my sweetheart Come here uh. mm -hmm. oh, really? What have you been eating? You put on some weight Come on, Dad You know I don't eat much uh -huh. Well, your weight is otherwise <laughs> okay, forget about my wits. I want to talk about something serious. Okay, so what's it? It's about Auntie Stella. I saw her on a phone call today and, you know, she was smiling. It's this smile someone makes when, you know, he or she is talking to someone special. <laughs> that I'm serious oh, yeah. now. Why are you laughing? What is your concern with Auntie Stella smiling? Look, your Auntie Stella has every right to talk to whosoever she wants to talk to and have any relationship outside this house. She's a human and not a robot, okay? Besides, don't forget that one day she's going to leave here and start up her own family out there. Uh, no, I don't want her to go anywhere. What is you don't want her to go anywhere? Why? Because I want you to marry her. What? Mm-hmm. Ah, <laughs> exactly my reaction when she said what she said. I mean, sometimes I wonder where that girl gets ideas from. You mean your daughter asked you to marry your maid? <laughs> it's actually funny. <laughs> look, she said it and, guy, look, I would have wanted. I didn't know what to say at that moment. So what did you say? Nothing, like, nothing for me to say. I was just dumbfounded. I had no reply. Come on, there's nothing to be dumbfounded about this. Hmm? If you ask me, your daughter is right. Look, I don't understand you, bro. Well, the truth is, I'm not even asking you. Come on, bro. The lady in question is not just an ordinary maid that you pick from the streets. She's educated. She's endowed front and back. You know that. And she can cook very well. So, what else do you want? David, are you listening to yourself? I mean, are you listening to what you're saying? Yeah. I mean, this is a maid that's been with us for years. What will people say? Come on, man. It's time you stop caring about what people say and start thinking about making the right decision. And what is the right decision? What are you saying? I don't know. You should figure it out. But what I'm saying is, for your daughter to suggest that you marry your maid, that means she's the perfect replacement 
for your late wife. Yeah. Think about it. To join us. Um, no, sir, please. I would rather prefer to eat in the kitchen. I insist. No, sir, please. Auntie, please join us. Okay. <laughs> okay. Let me get my plate. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Daddy. What? Oh, nothing. <laughs> said sorry. It's remaining like 10. 10? Mm -hmm. Just this morning. Keep your head. It's okay. Auntie. Mm -hmm. I'll ask you a question. A question? Mm -hmm. And what if I say no? I'm not in the mood to answer to any question. If you don't want to. But I prefer you answer me. Okay, shoot. Okay. But promise you'll answer all my questions. Okay, I promise. Okay. So, do you have any family around? Nope. Why do you ask? No, because you hardly take a break from work to see them. Well, that's because my family stays in the village. And here I am working to, you know, support them. And luckily for me, your dad pays me well. <laughs> wow. So, um, what about relationships? Are you married? Are you dating? Are you single? Or uh, divorced or um, widowed, just like my dad? Well, I am single. And that's because I've had my own fair share of heartbreaks from men. And so, I have decided to stay on my own. Hmm. Perfect. What's perfect about this? 
Oh, mm, nothing. I'm just saying it's perfect for you to stay single um, and avoid further heartbreaks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But what do you think about my dad? Mm? Your dad? Mm -hmm. How do you mean? I mean, what if he had proposed to you? Would he say yes? Um, can we just drop this topic, okay? Okay, if you want to. But you didn't say no. Um, so, sit up. Um, we have to finish up. Okay. Sorry. So what are you have to do? Because you get very well. Olga? Uh, after <laughs> you call me. Uh, uh, Olga, make her near you. <laughs> Where does her? I want to ask you a question and I need you to be as honest as you can. Uh, <laughs> Oga, uh, you know say me, P, I don't feel like I give you. <clears throat> Tell me, what do you think about Stella? Uh, uh, sorry, Oga, I not hear you finish. I said, what do you think about Stella? Oh, Stella, Stella. Uh, Oga, no verse, which Stella? Oh, what is your problem? How many Stella do we have in this house? Oh, <laughs> Oga, no way. Oh, Madam Stella. <laughs> Oga, see, eh? anybody who married a woman, go enjoy, finish. <laughs> what do you mean by that? Eh, hey, ah, Oga, you know, say, you know the day, oh, now, nah, walk, walk. You don't know the, open the gate, open the gate. I will not draw for you. <laughs> you don't move. Eh, see, eh, Madam Stella. Ah, now so you go clean, you go wash, you, you go cook. You, when you don't cook like this, eh, now so you go put plenty meat for me. See, Oga, now Madame Stella, huh? nothing no say, round about and throw it. They for meat. <laughs> and if not fine, if I finish. Mm. <laughs> okay. That's, um, that's enough. You can go to back to your post. Thank you. Eh, mm. Don't finish that. That's all for now. Okay. Okay. <laughs> eh, eh, Oga, see, eh? <laughs> you know, say, if I explain things for you like this, I'm not going to press a rich ground. Even you, you're not going to understand. <laughs> Oga, see, eh? You see, basically, like Mother Stella now. Nah. Ah, I see fine, pepe, pepe, pepe. So, now, so, eh? If he's still home man for inside room, ha, Oga, you know that song now? Nah? When did they say, see Mary, see Jesus, see Mary, oh. see. Oga, see Mary. Oh. Hey, Oga. Get out of here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, sir. Ah, <laughs> not this. Mm. Uh, Oga, I'm not going to disturb you, pass it. Uh, Oga, I beg, eh? Just calm down. I beg. Eh? I'll be everything that the vest put. See, Oga. See, Oga, eh? <laughs> Oga. See, eh? Oga. You know, say, you not get anything when I don't ask you when you know they do for me. Now I make I don't tell myself, say, me poor, any day when he be like, say, you need a kidney, you need liver, okay, I go give you my own. I not go think I am, I go give you, okay, see, okay, I beg, yeah, you, you feel help me, beg Madame Stella, make him marry me, yeah, you, you go still tell and say, now nah, you want sponsor, then you go give us more things Paul. when we go taste that like. Okay. Do you want to lose your job? No. Hey. No. Eh? No. Hey, ah. wait, 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 get out of here. Okay, no, okay, no, okay. Hey, Sorry, sir. Eh? 
Waiting now. Person not feel your talking mind. Eh? The other day, I saw small madam just come my car back. They asked me on Stella. As I say, my talk, he begin to me. Now, God, I ain't come here. He don't ask me on Stella now. I just talk again. He begin to me. Eh? Person not just feel talk on Stella, man, they don't want him. <laughs> Baba God, you know, see my mind, they were this Stella deal. The way where they go now, man, not follow the portion of the Bible where say the violent ones now they take it by force. I be worried, boy. Yo. I go collect her by, by force. Yo. Hey. I know why they talk. Now, man, not go boss, but to follow Stella matter. <laughs> mm. Dad. Dad. Mm -hmm. yeah. Why are you sleeping here? Hey. I just said so. I just came here to just chill a little bit and I slept off. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, what's wrong? Um please can you help me get my bag for me? My school bag. My school bag, where is it? It's in my room. Your room? N yes, my room. Your school bag is your room. Go and get it now. Why can't you get a school bag? Uh, Daddy, you know that I'm, I'm so lazy to climb the stairs. It's, it's too much. Uh, wait, I don't want it. You woke me, you woke me up for sleep because you want me to get gone. Are you serious? Please. Please now, please now, please now. Oh, this girl, are you, are you kidding me? You have to wake me up from sleep just to go get your school bag. Daddy, please. I have a choice. Thank you, Daddy. Please. You're the best daddy in the world. <laughs> best daddy in the world. Helping you, Dad. What do you mean by you're helping me? I know that Auntie Stella is the right woman for you. But you're not bold enough to talk to her, probably. You'll feel she'll say no to your advances. But trust me, she likes you too. She does. I do. <laughs> when did I tell you that? Purity, you see? Purity. You may try to hide it. But I can sense it. Purity. We appreciate the fact you're trying to help us, right? But look, this is not the right way to go about it now. Just open the door for daddy, please. Um, look, she's just a kid, okay? Uh, just imagine the child I carried in my hands a few years ago. She's trying to blackmail me. Purity, my darling. Baby, just open the door for daddy, okay? Please. I, I wouldn't say she's trying to blackmail you. I think she's only trying to do what she thinks is best for you. I mean, your happiness matters to her a lot. I know she cares, but do you care about my happiness and feelings? I would be lying if I say I don't. I have always loved you from afar. You and Purity have always had a special place in my heart. Why didn't you say anything? I feel it's in a man's place to shoot the shot. Yeah. I was just being cautious. I mean, um, I didn't want them saying I'm messing around my hell. But I had everything and 
I realized I had the right to choose anyone I want to be with. And I choose you. Will you have me? Thank you. 